Now, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Oh, mine's going to be quick and, and easy, so right, you can go you first. Go. Oh, go. pass. <laughs> because what is going on with his backpack on this figure? What happened was I actually watched a video on this today, actually. I'm considering it. Oh, my goodness. And and <laughs> I, I, I want a sand. I want a sandstorm. No. So I would take the money from this and buy the original Botcon ones first because um, I want this Mickey Mouse dinosaur. Hey, welcome back, BBC fans. As always, I'm your guy Bot, aka Bobby, and I'm your con, James. And we have a whole lot of news for you today. Uh, so let's hop right on into it and enjoy the ride with us. Now, before we get into the news, just want to say thank you to all the subscribers. Go ahead and subscribe if you want. We are trying to get to 500 by TFCon. So if you want to join that ride with us, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now let's jump in the other cart to go on this roller coaster, which are some leaks. So let's get into it. And there are a ton of leaks. <laughs> so wow. let's just go and start with Studio Series. So I think one of these you're going to be interested in and the rest you're not going to be. The first okay. one is TF5 Drift. So I'm assuming that's Samurai Drift. I thought they already made it, but I guess not. Um, then Deluxe Rise Lifeline. I don't know what Rise is. Is that, that's not the new Transformers movie because I thought that was Transformers 1. Right, correct. So I don't know what this is unless there's a new Transformers video game. I think they talked about that. Maybe that's called Transformers Rise. Oh. Um, and an unnamed commander class. So the commander class, I think, is obviously what you would be interested in. Unless it's like gamer versus, you know, Devastator. And <laughs> they look like the, the bots, think... the, 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 the dino, the, the dino bots. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, 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 no. I, I mean, honestly, they surprise me now. I mean, I, I can't tell what they're going to do anymore. It's it's yeah, they're, they're going off the walls with some of these things. Yeah, you know, like, and it's, it's just easy for them to do a repaint of something and call it something else in a whole nother category or whole nother segment. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, Lifeline. I like that name and I hope it's a hearse. I doubt it, but I think that's really <laughs> cool. Um, so moving on to Legacy, the only news we have, we have no names, but there's going to be a Commander and a Titan in the Uni line. Again, I'm assuming it's Universe or United. Um, so that's pretty cool. We'll have to see what those are. But time will tell. Do you have any um, so inclinations of what you think it might I'm be? I'm thinking about a couple of things. So one, going back to that Lifeline, I think there's a G.I. Joe figure named Lifeline, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but the the titan class you know i was thinking about it we have a metroplex that i don't like everybody's been clamoring for a g1 metroplex what if they decided to do a another unicron or primus or something like that in a titan class they definitely could i don't think i would be down for that because it would be, you know, the size of like, you know, a volleyball, I guess. Maybe right. smaller. I don't know how big the Unicron one it would be. The, the the crowdfunding one. But I mean that would be cool for a budget version. Yes, because I'm trying to think of what else they could do for a Titan class. I mean again, Tidal unless it's, unless it's, But do you think Tidal Wave is Titan they class? Are. Oh, yeah. Well, it depends on what you look at. The video game I grew up at, he was, you know, taller than a skyscraper. Like, you know, this was Optimus and then this was Tidal Wave. So it depends on what you do. But I, especially with the commander classes that are coming out now, look at Magnus. He's barely taller than a Voyager. So it's a Tidal Wave if they do it right. 
and they simplify it, which you can because you already have all the designs. You don't need to change the main base mold of Tidal Wave. Just give it more articulation. Um, I think a, t uh, a Commander class would work great for it. Well, I said or ti or um, Titan class. That yeah. would work too. I got I got them mixed up. But I think a Titan would also work for Tidal Wave because of what he turns into. Maybe a broadside. We could also so see that. So that I mean I know we speculated on on another show about if they came out with a a, a figure that we would want to see, but I know uh, when we did the GI Joe Transformer crossover, but the thing is the thing with the Titan Tidal Wave is how is he going to merge with Megatron that they just dropped? You know that's the only. Oh yeah, they they would they would probably drop that, which wouldn't surprise me because they dropped all the mini comms. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I just think, I just think, you know, they probably, there, there's people again really excited about the possibility of a tidal wave coming now to connect with, you know, the uh, the Megatron that they just released with Legacy. So, I mean, let us know what your thoughts are in the comments. But I can, that would be cool for a Primus. And the reason that I thought about that is because the third party Primus is starting to get ramped up again, and so. You know, we had when Haslab came out with Unicron, we started seeing all these third party Unicrons. And so, you know, maybe it's going to be the reverse. Maybe we will see. Um, next, we have Earthspark. Uh, I don't think we need to get too far into these, but we've got Prowl, Thrash, Jawbreaker and Aftermath, all deluxes. So if you watch that show, I'm sure you'll be very happy to see these. Um, I've forgot this line even exists because all I see are like the ones that flip around in the store. So I'll be looking forward to seeing that prowl in your collection, Bobby. I was in Target um, today and I saw <laughs> boxes and boxes of, yeah. of uh, stuff they were about to put on the shelf and most of oh, it was okay. Earthspark. And so uh, I know season two is about to start, I think, sometime soon. So who knows? Well, yeah, maybe we'll watch it, you know, and have a review on it because that tarantula looks really cool. Um, next for Generation Selects, which I'm happy they're still doing, we've got a Generation Selects Autobot multi-pack and a Generation Selects Deluxe three-pack. Those can be really cool or they can be really not cool. We really can't speculate too much. Yeah, I mean, maybe it'll be for you, it'll be a, a repaint of the Rise of the Beast, Pablo, and some other stuff in that three-pack, that Target. <laughs> How did you know? I want that Pablo as somebody like Perceptor. That would be amazing. And I would have to buy it and send it to you so you could put it in your collection. <laughs> Hard pass. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we've got the Buzzworthy line, which is where I think you'd find your Pablo. We've got a Legacy Uni multi-pack. So I'm assuming it's going to be like the Troop Builder pack that came out this year. The other Bumblebee pack with um, the Beast Wars repaints or whatever. Um, a Studio Series Voyager number one. Wheeljack, Leader Reissue number three for Studio Series, and a Studio Series two pack, which I'm assuming is gonna be like that Ironhide and Prowl, which I am seeing everywhere, and there's like six of them. Nobody seems to want that thing. Um, so yeah, again, there's not much to speculate because we don't got many names. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I love, honestly, even if it's characters I don't pick up, I do just love all this Transformer stuff. It's really cool and it helps keep the brand alive and dollars rolling into Hasbro and Takara and third parties. Even if we don't necessarily buy them, I know there's people out there buying them and it helps keep the brand going. So I'm happy. Well, I think you're gonna be more happy with that the fact that they're continuing the Walmart retro line and you're gonna get four of them next year, supposedly. So. There you go. I'm assuming the Insecticons will be on there. Yeah. Um, probably a few more. I don't know who else will be on there. <sighs> Come on, Wallet. <laughs> All right. Well, that's enough of the these leaks. We spent enough time on them. Let's get into what had been just announced. And the first thing, you could see that this is Sonic, but there is um, a new video game controller that's going to be dropping. October 13th, so Friday the 13th, so <laughs> that could be good or bad. And the cool thing about it is, if you look closely, this is actually a see-through case, and they did like some 3D design of like Sonic's World 1, Green Hill Zone, so. This actually looks really cool. 
If I needed a controller, I'd pick it up, but I doubt this is gonna work with my PS5. So. Uh, yeah, and <laughs> I can't tell you the last time I played Sonic, that game actually pissed me off so bad. I mean, you have like a billion coins or rings and then all of a sudden something falls out and, and you lose all of them. Oh God, that used to piss me off. <sighs> okay. <laughs> we should do a show on our video game memories. Oh, that, that would be, be fun. painful. <laughs> Next, we've got three zeros, MDLX Jazz. So this is a concept art of a very strange looking jazz. Um, what do you think about it? It is very, very stylized, but I actually like it. Oh. It actually looks kind of cool, honestly. It doesn't um, look bad. I think this is a black and white picture. So I thought it was in color first, and I'm like, where's all the blue? But then I, I think it's black and white. It, 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 yeah, it looks black and white to me. Um, I, it actually looks pretty good. I, he looks like he's he can do some damage. I mean, it doesn't look like he's gonna be break dancing and, and blasting music. You know what I'm used to jazz looking like. He looks like he's ready for some action. Yeah, for me, the only problem is like if you cut it, on, cut him off at the waist, like Megatron did in the first movie. It looks like they should be different sizes. Like the legs need to be sized down to fit. Oh yeah, yeah, he's definitely um, he he hasn't missed leg day at all. Oh, no, definitely not. <laughs> yeah, and that that would be my only complaint about it. But it looks okay. Yeah. This next one's all for you. We've got the Yolo Park AMK series of. Uh, Model kits, but not model kits. Optimus Prime. You really like the Megatron. Here's Optimus. So when are you going to be buying both of these? That looks really good. I know. I knew you were going to like it. It looks really, really good. I'm not going to pick it up, but it looks really good. <laughs> I, so, yeah. I spent so much money this week on Transformers stuff that, um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm saying no to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it does look good. It looks very good for what it is. And I was reading the description and it said, it, previously we said that the Megatron was fully assembled, but now when I read the description, it says yeah. fully assembled parts, but you still have to put it together. Put it together, yeah. Like so, the arms are, it's ar an arm yeah. and it's a chest yeah. and it's leg. You have to snap that part together. I don't understand that. If they're gonna put apart half the product, just put apart, pull, put apart the whole thing, but whatever. Um, <laughs> moving on, I you like your cards, and this is Icon Heroes Blaster Mini Deluxe Bust, and it's a card holder. So you put the cards in its chest. Like, I I don't know. I tried to look up what this was for, but all it said is it could hold a hundred cards in its chest. So I'm thinking business cards. That's what I would assume too. And. If I worked in an office instead of at home, this would be really cool. Um, so whenever somebody walked into my office and needed to take a card or I can give them a card, I'd be pulling that out of Blaster. That actually is really cool. But since I work from home and don't have that, I mean, my dogs aren't coming to get a card and my kid would probably have my cards all over the place. Matter of fact, I don't even have any business cards right now. Now that I think about it. so. Um, I do like it, but it's not for me yeah. right now. Not, not for me either. One, I'm not a big fan of Blaster, and I hate that shell sh cell shading on this guy. It's way overdone. It looks like they dipped him in like Vaseline and took him out. <laughs> like I don't think he ever looked like this in the show. It, this it, bad. Is, it is a lot of cell shading. It... <laughs> the head looks great, but the rest of it is just like looks goopy. Um, all right. Continuing with the Icon Heroes, they're also going to do some pin sets. Um, so they're fine. They look like they just took images off of Google and made pins out of them. They don't look original at all. I all totally... of them are in different, you know, art styles. And yeah. But, yeah. you know, if they're cheap enough, I'd buy the Decepticon one. You are a pin collector. I have a few jackets. <laughs> so I I will be passing on these as well. Um, they're they're cute. I would 
if I was into pins, I probably would buy all ten of these actually. Oh, wow. They all they there all look go. pretty good to me. They all look good to me actually. There's no pretty good. They all look good to me. I I just wish it, I just wish it, I don't know how they did this. I just wish it was a little bit more effort, at least for me, to do this. It looks like they got a selection of images from Hasbro and just slapped them on pins. I totally agree with you on that. Yeah. There's definitely no original. It doesn't look unless it's unless it's like, hey, this art. This is this artist's yes, work. Yes, and I didn't see anything like that on the listing. You know, but yeah. Next, there's a whole bunch of them, but they've got mouse pads, and I wouldn't mind getting some of these. I picked some of the most interesting ones besides the Dinobots because the Dinobots have that same weird funky art as the other ones. But I do want a mouse pad, and these are really cool. Um, but they are 38 bucks a piece, so I'll probably not be getting them. But I really like that G2 Minosaur one. Some of the Combiner Wars Titans Returns box art was really, really good, and they captured it in these mouse pads. There's a lot more. You could go find it um, on their website, but I just picked a small stuff. So the reason I'm looking up is because I literally have a picture that is close to the blaster. Um, <laughs> it's literally, and I and I keep looking up and because I'm like, okay, I see I see subtle differences, but literally on my picture, uh, Ramhorn is by his leg, uh, Steeljaw is up like on a perch uh, up above um, and uh, eject and rewind are by his feet. So I don't see one of them there. Scepter's not on here, but it's actually a, a double pay, a double picture of sound wave across from him um, with his tapes. And so that's why I kept looking up like, hey, they kind of stole this idea, but it's not the exact picture, but it's very, very, very close. Uh, I thought you would be in for those uh, G2 Stunticons. If I was to pick one, that would be the one I would get. Um, Thirty-eight dollars is just a lot, honestly, for a mouse pad. I haven't Sorry, used a mouse I'm cheap pad. when it comes to that. I will spend one hundred and fifty dollars on a Transformer, like a Transart figure that I really, really want, or an exclusive. But when it comes to this stuff, I'm very cheap, <laughs> so I'll probably just end up getting a five-dollar mouse pad if I really want one. <laughs> I just don't use mouse pads anymore. Uh, I don't either. Yeah, so it would be literally something that would be here in front of me and I wouldn't use it and I definitely wouldn't have it in my office upstairs. Uh, so yeah, this would be a easy pass for me as well. I do like them, uh, but yeah, not, not really a mouse pad guy anymore. Okay, so next we've got, I believe this is Fun B Studios, and they did the Axelon's Laser Cannon, so a turret from Armada. I don't remember this in the show. I haven't watched that show since I was a kid, except for that half an episode I watched with you in Chicago, or, or excuse me, LA. LA. Um, but it looks good for what it is. It looks very poofy, though. That's probably what it looked like in the show. But it looks fair, like, kind of like a marshmallow. I swear, they bring out stuff that I don't recall, don't remember from anything, and it looks good for what it is. I couldn't say what it, you know, how accurate it it is to what was on the screen, but I just love these things, man. And it's so cool that that we can get these to build, you know, further dioramas and stuff like that. So um, let us know if you're going to be picking this up. Or if you even yeah. have anything from Fun B Studios, they have a lot of stuff out, but I've never purchased anything from them. Yeah, if you've um, would built be the right printed if you printed any of their projects. Yeah. Next, we've got New Age H fifty seven Frayer. So I don't understand what this picture is supposed to be. So I'm just gonna go off what people are saying online, and people think it's which would make sense. They're they're doing their Dinobots. Is this from like Jurassic Park or something like that, maybe? Is that what it was? See, my twisted mind sees Silent Hill. And I know that's not correct. <laughs> so, <laughs> I never saw Silent Hill. Well, played Silent Hill. We don't oh, never about played it either. So, <laughs> So, but yeah, um, 
yeah, so maybe Swoop's coming soon for you um, Legends collectors out there like Bobby. <laughs> Swoop is your favorite Dinobot, so I, I take he it you'll is. be picking it up. No. And Thank you know they'll have 17 repaints, so you can't you can't Honestly, say Honestly, if, if they do like a, a weird repaint that I could repurpose as like Fractal or somebody like that, it just won't be Legends Fractal. It'll just be a tiny Fractal. You know, who knows what how tall he's supposed to be. Hey, I think then it, uh, they're going to do it. They're going to probably have four or five colors. I mean, we already liked one of the um, one of the versions of um, not. I was going to say Stomp. Sludge, right? Sludge. Um, I was thinking of Fan Sway's name for him. But yes, a Sludge. <laughs> so I think. I, I wouldn't take that back. I would not buy it even if it's a color I want because they're too expensive for what they are. At least you said I'm gonna it. I'm to be now. honest. At least you said it. If, now. if it was thirty dollars, completely different story. But at like seventy, eighty dollars for a Legends class figure, even a big one, I'm out. So. Okay. Okay, let's keep going, and we've got Good Smile Companies, Cycleon, and this is type Dark Tail. What do you think of this? I think this is right up your alley. I think you probably love this. It looks like a Fembot. It's a cat. It turns into a freaky little motorcycle it has the whip thing that you love and then it hangs off the back <laughs> which you probably think is cool as hell too where do why do i love whip things just because i like it on rat trap or i mean rat trap and pack rat don't mean i like it so i actually have the original version of this mold the purple version that doesn't have all the cat stuff and it is not my favorite mold it's good for what it is i put it on the shelf but i wouldn't pay more than 50 bucks um, it doesn't have um, thigh swivels. There's a lot of issues with it. It doesn't stand unless you have a little stand on its foot. Um, it looks great though, but again, I'm not gonna be paying. I think it was one. I think I paid about ninety dollars for it, and this one's at one twenty now. Um, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't. And it's small. It's like five inches tall, which would be fine, but not for the price. It looks great though. Well, you just like checked every box on why I'm not getting it. Um, <laughs> one, I'm I again, I I'm not even though I did get the Catwoman um, uh, CDL or something like that. I can't even remember what it was called. Um, no, but that was a character. That was that was a character to go with the Batman yeah. figure I picked up that she towers over. Uh, but this is something that I, I will not be getting. I. I'm not too big of a fan of cats. Um, I used to be allergic to them, and that's I do like cats as, but I would never have a cat. Uh, so this is cool. I like the motorcycle mode. I like the the tires on the on the motorcycle. Those look really cool. Uh, the figure looks too much like a cat that they turned into a, you know, like a knockoff transformer cartoon or something like that so it is from an anime from cycleon an anime yeah so this is this is an easy one for me to pass on i like the colors but i'm okay yeah. i'm saving some money here yeah me too unless like i said if it goes on deep discount and i'm able to get it for 50 bucks i would snatch it up but let's move on to something else that i'm a little um iffy on now this could have either went and released or just announced but we've talked about it so much in the leaks that I put it in just announced. And that's MMC's Akineox. So I <laughs> don't know where they're getting these names from, but this is obviously supposed to be Trans Tech Cheetor in the wrong colors. Um, so here is he, here he is. Here is Rosanna. And I think that's an adorable purse that she turns into. It just needs a strap. Um, and here they are together. This they had limited quantities at BotCon 20 to 2023 at the Toy Jojo X A3U booth. It's only $110. Now, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Oh, mine's going to be quick and, and easy, so right, you can go you first. Go. Oh, go. pass. <laughs> yeah, so it's strange for me. I hate the blue on this figure because he's supposed to have brown. He's not supposed to have blue on it. And I'm just gonna go back. What is this alt mode? This is not what it's it's yeah, that's not what he's supposed to look like. 
$110 isn't a bad price. I do like this Rosanna, but again, just like you, I want it in the other mold that you have. I forgot the name. The, the remix MMC? series. The yeah. MMC? I mean, this is MMC too. Oh, the, yeah, um, the RMX series. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, I don't want this one, but for 110 I would probably pick it up at a convention just because I'm already at the convention and I would have those ties to it. So if this is at TFCon, I will probably be picking it up. I think this is the TFCon exclusive and they're just testing the waters at BotCon to see if they should do an exclusive there, to be honest with you, because it said limited quantities or excuse me, advanced copies available. So advanced means it's going to be somewhere else like Orlando in it will be two months at this point. God dang it. It's only like two months. <laughs> Orlando. Hold on, um, Wallet. Hold on. <laughs> it's running away. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, I also don't like that Cheetor head. It looks like movie Cheetor that we, from the movie we just saw. It, it, so, I don't know. I'm going to stop because I'm a little disappointed. It was easy for me. I'm out. We'll see if you're out with the convention because you get very trigger happy. Very trigger happy when you start seeing things in front of you. I don't like the mold of, of well, I, I don't like the Cheetor at all. And, and that tape, I mean, you called it a purse, uh, you know. That's... It's supposed to be a memory stick. I guess it's something from the comics. They turn it into memory sticks instead of, I don't know. Anyways, let's okay. move on. Yes. You'll be seeing this in Bobby's collection when he picks it up at TFCon. Let's get to the updates. First one is something just for you. You've got the missing link box. So it's actually gonna have styrofoam on the inside, which is pretty, pretty cool. I like that. Um, does this make you any more excited for it? Or are you still bummed out with the stickers? I'm still bummed out with the stickers. I'm still picking it up, but I'm still <laughs> bummed out with the stickers. I am. I, I agree. It looks, I, I like that they're doing this original package. Though, so, yeah. With the styrofoam. All right, let's get into the pre-orders everybody's talking about and then the studio series. Everybody and their brother and mama are very excited to see these. Um, so we've got Frumble, um, <laughs> Ultra Magnus, I'm not getting into it today, Ratchet, Nightbird, Novocaine, which I need some Novocaine after looking at him, and um, Noah, which I'm gonna need another shot looking at this guy so we've seen them all before but there are a few ones that i wanted to talk about are there any here besides ultra magnus and nightbird that you want to discuss you said nightbird i um, want to talk about her really quick okay so honestly i'm i like the top three go figure mm. i'm and I'm, can, let's just talk about how colorful the top row is and how muted the bottom is. Oh, well, that's, you know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy how the movies dulled everything down. And I know these aren't those colorful characters. I'm sure if they put an Optimus, it'd be red. So it's on anyway. that, that is a very big contrast. So let's talk about Magnus. Now, he only is 90 bucks. So Hasbro heard me whining and said, okay, let's let's take it down by 50 bucks. They were gonna charge 140, you know they were. Um, so now it's 90 bucks, which is a decent price for him, I think. Um, I hate the proportions on this thing. The head's tiny. The shoulders are super wide. It has giant boots. This isn't what he looked like in the movie at all. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I'm very happy to everybody that has been clamoring for this, and I'm very happy with it. But to me, I, I couldn't be. This... For a studio series figure, this looks like it should be in the legacy line and I would be perfectly fine with it. But the proportions, especially in that picture, maybe it's on a fish eye lens. I don't know, because it looks better in other pictures that we've seen before. But this pic, both of these pictures just look so bad that I wouldn't be picking it up. I did pre-order it as soon as I saw the price was $90. And I'm still upset about those little hands. Or <laughs> the big hands, the big and, the hands and the little matrix, rather, excuse me. And I do see he looks like he's been lifting weights. He is 
So it reminds me of the G1 toy, how it was more blocky and big. And it's almost like they said, okay, we're gonna, we know how much people love the G1 toy. We're gonna go from the G1 toy and then take it to the movie instead of taking it to the movie and basing the figure off of that. I don't, no facts on that or anything, just an opinion because it does look, you know, pretty chunky in places. And so I think that's what they did. And, you know, they showed those, we talked about it on the show a few episodes ago, how they showed the transformation um, pictures of it going from, you know, somewhat of how it looked. And I think that's kind of what they may have done or maybe what their theme was is like, hey, let's take what the, what we had as a toy and let's articulate it. Let's make it the legs move and this, that and the other. And I don't know, maybe that's how they got to this. Then it shouldn't be a studio series figure. I'm sorry. <sighs> studio series should be as screen accurate as possible, in my opinion. I, I and they not... did a, they've done a really good job. Think about that Ironhide and that Ratchet. Um, they've done a really good job doing that. But this figure, with all the budget they probably put into it, just the, the proportions are just wonky for me. So, and maybe when it's in hand, it'll look different. I, I will give them that. Well, you know, and even with the the um, the Ironhide, it looked great in bot mode, but, it, you know, not in alt mode. But so, it wasn't horrible in alt mode. Uh, I have well, a lot worse alt modes out there. Than oh, that definitely. Ironhide. Definitely. But, I, I, mean, I don't like the bot mode on that, but that's aesthetic reasons, not, right. you know. I think it looks great for what it's supposed to be. Yeah. You know, I, I, I I just always see Magnus as being tall and, not skinny, but tall and lean. Thin. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he's I know definitely... he's armor, blah, 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 but he should be like tall and lean. Uh, not skinny or thin, but lean. And this is like, yeah, he, I, he, I don't know. So he's pretty that's... stocky. He, he... He's right. So that that's my opinion. I hope we see it in person and it's much better and everybody loves it. And this is the best commander class to date. But if I were you guys, I'd wait for the eventual sale. Everybody's telling me even in the comments that it's going to sell out. But I've seen every single Commander class go on sale. Every one. I think this is going to go on sale as well. Just because of the price point, you're not getting the parents buying it for their kids. So it's going to go on sale eventually at places like Amazon. Um, well, it's also coming up right before Christmas. So I can see a lot of people picking this up for Christmas. Yes, that is correct. But so did Rodimus, and that was on sale. And Skylinks found that on sale and Jetfire also found that on sale. I didn't see any of them. But we'll see. Maybe the Armada Prime will break it though. I haven't seen that one on sale yet. So uh, we'll see. Anyways, let's get into a quick let me get into a quick rant. This is hate Hasbro minute. Because <laughs> what is going on with his backpack on this figure? I texted you this the moment I saw it. <laughs> what are they thinking? And I didn't even realize those are supposed to be her wings. The little things at the very top. Those are, remember how she had wings in the movie? Yeah. Was flying like, around? Those like, are the wings. Like the little purple, <laughs> the little purple. Yeah. The little purple with the black coming out. That looks more like a little stinger. <laughs> Does it look like wings? Wow. So I'm very disappointed. I wanted that. I saw the original one and I liked it, but it was in the three pack. And I almost bought it to send you, Pablo, because I know how you wanted that so much. And <laughs> the, the, um, but I, I said sender. 60 bucks is too much. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, well, they'll come out with the studio series and it'll be better. I was wrong. <laughs> very, very wrong. This should this should be unacceptable. Wow. Honestly. This is bad. I like the wheels. I like the wheels, too. I love the head. The head is amazing. It looks like it in the movie, and I thought the movie was kind of cool, too. I like the wheels. <laughs> hey, that sword don't look too bad, either. I like the wheels. <laughs> <laughs> so That's all I wanted to talk about this with, because something's going on. They're getting really lazy, and you know that's my favorite word to say, and this this shows it. I, I, I don't even know. I Wow. 
Let's move on to something cool, and that is this Beast Wars 2 pack. So we've talked about this quite a bit, and I guess they're actually coming out, and there's quite a bit of paint. But first, I love this box. It is so cool. Really? I, I'm not going to pick it up, so don't give me that look. Um, but I love the box. And here they are in their bot and beast modes. And you can see that Megatron is actually painted throughout the whole beast mode, which is really cool. I, like um, I wish this came out first, because I would have rather had these in my collection. But I'm not hanging <laughs> them again. The whole line all over it. Yeah. Well, that's that's the, the whole catch is for you to be like me and buy all the re-releases of the G1 retros and, you know, sometimes I want to kick myself, but they're thinking that, hey, it's working for the G1 retros. Let's go ahead and do the, the Beast Wars. Well, yeah, yeah no. It's not working? Wow. They, they have to wait about 10 years. <laughs> and, then, and, then the, and then the people that grew up on Beast Wars will be able to buy. And, and who knows? <laughs> of the market right now. Um, but yeah, they look good for what they are. I would be buying these if I didn't have these. That Megatron look, I, lo I love the purple on that Megatron. The colors look and really the, good. And the, the stripes or the whatever stripes you want to call yeah, the They whole, did a the whole, really good job yeah, on that. I commend Takara. Yeah, so, yeah. It just cracks me up how small Prime and Megatron, I mean, how Prime is so small next to Megatron. You know, it's just like, it just shows how, how strong and smart Prime was <laughs> to be able to yeah, defeat Well, Megatron. you know, and this is what always messed me up between these two because even like today, I think Megatron should be a head or two heads taller than Prime because of this. Because of this. So, because I've, this is what I'm used to. Right. And I, it kind of makes sense that the enemy is like a big threat. So I don't like him standing eye to eye, but that's just me. Um, okay, moving on, we've got MPH. SO2, very small commander. So I think this is the roller that we saw. This is the same company. Yes. Um, and it's a 1 to 100 scale, so it's going to be very tiny. Yeah. So is. it looks really good for what it is. And if they keep doing this and it's the same size as Dr. Wu, or even just a little bit taller, I think they'll have some, Dr. Wu will have some competition. You know, I was looking at some Dr. Wu stuff a couple of days ago. Actually, uh -oh. yesterday. Yesterday as well. Uh oh. And, you know, their stuff is really, really small, like really, really yeah. small. And so, you know, the price is, is right for some of the Dr. Wu stuff for me, but I just can't can't bite that bullet yet until I get, you know, this uh, Metroplex in hand and see what we're working with. Well, that might be quite a while and those Dr. Wu's might be sold out by then. <laughs> but yeah. since you are the Legends collectors, cause you've got about seven of them, I think, Will you be adding this one to their ranks? So, 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 so. What had happened was I actually watched a video on this today, actually. I'm considering it. Oh my goodness. And and <laughs> I, I want a sand I want a sandstorm. We have not had a sandstorm. And I want one, and I'm just like, this won't be that expensive, I think. And I can, f I don't, I do not have, well, no, I have the, uh, was it Thrilling 30 or something like that? I have that Sandstorm, which didn't do it for me for a Sandstorm. Oh, I love that figure. But it's not, it's, it's but a- But it's not G1 at all. It's not a G1 It's just Springer figure. repainted. Yeah, so it's like, you know, that's not Sandstorm to me, but so I don't have any other sandstorms, and so this was my favorite triple changer. So. And bef before we go Auto further, this is Mechanic Studio Sand Leopard. So if you're looking into it, um, which is funny because it's Mechanic Studios, which which is MS, and isn't there like Magic Square, which is MS as well? Mm, kind of makes me think they're the same company anyways this looks really cool i'm glad that it comes with a toy and tune face i like that face plate um i'm just not a legends collector i'm like bobby obviously so uh i won't be picking so. i don't i could i could definitely fit this in somewhere on a shelf this just would happen like he just just like perspective he's like far away on a mountain or something right and that's why yeah. he's so tiny well and if i did that he'd be like you know a fly or something like that it would look like if I lose them. I have to. I have to put them on Metroplex, 
or put him on somebody and it, it would be like hey he got shrunk in an episode in my head or in james head that's what happened <laughs> james came up with this concept of him getting shrunk and that's why he looks this way honey i shrunk the sandstorm <laughs> um, next we've got fans toys prototypes on display at Baca. so we've got i don't know their fans toys names but we've got Scourge, Gears, and Swerve. <clears throat> Out of the three of these, I think the Swerve looks the best, honestly. If I was to pick one up, it'd be that one. I've always liked Swerve as, you know, the design. Um, but I'm not going to be paying fans choice prices for these. So I, I'm in for all three of these, even though I just picked up the Power Glide. <sighs> QC issues right out the box wings fell off it's just like what in the world is happening right now yeah. both wings I, fell I, off I, and a pen I've seen came pictures out. online about that besides just yours so yeah. so it seems like there's some factory issue yes so it you know i'm trying not to give up because i've had i've had more i've had qc issues with all companies but when you pay the price for fans toys you don't expect it to come and be that bad i mean like whoever whatever the the qc number is i should write a complaint about that person you know but uh these do look great i love angry gears you know uh i can't wait to have scourge next to galvatron and cyclonus and scourge and what i say you, 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 no, I said you can't wait to have Scourge next to Galvatron and Scourge and Scourge and Cyclonus and Cyclonus. Oh, and oh, yeah, and yeah, I do have a few, um, <laughs> but I, I have I have the X Transbots um, four, so yes, and I'm happy. I'm happy to be getting this. I'm sure they'll probably do like a, a subtle repaint and have his our um his, the sweeps, so I'd probably be in for a couple of those as well. But yeah, Swerve is is cool you know he was never uh my my favorite um mini bot i see pipes back there behind him as well which i'm waiting on so i'm yeah i'm in for all these i don't like the way gears is holding his gun though it looks like it's falling a little bit there i don't know what's up with that and yeah, that's probably just a prototype yeah i don't know but it looks good i'm happy they're coming soon um, so let's get it going. Come on, fans toys. We'll see how those fans toys work out for you. And we'll see if they actually don't have any QC issues this time, like your jazz and your power glide. So, um, hopefully they change factories or something. People. Speaking about QC issues, we've got X trans bots, punch a counter punch, which is bond and James. Here is the alt mode. What do you think of this alt mode? It looks accurate. Uh, like a, a Pontiac um, Fiero, I think it was. That's what it looks like to me. But... Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm sure it's accurate. It's just as kind of boring and pedestrian, you might say. <laughs> There's nothing special about it. Yeah, it. Um, and here are their bot modes. This is the U.S. version, the North American version. So, yeah, I think if I was to pick this up, I'd wait for the Japanese version. I'm so in. I, I have a pre order for both. Couldn't make up my mind. I just love this character. I never had the G1 figure. So. Oh, that's funny. I actually have the G1 figure. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've never had the G1. I had the. Um, what was it? Um, Titans Return version? Was that mm. what it was? Yes, yes. I, yes. That was my first, my first take on this figure. So I'm all in for both of them can't wait i don't know which one is going to be autobot and which one's going to be decepticon in terms of the u.s version versus this japanese version but we'll figure out once it comes so you mean you're not getting four of them two each so you could have one in each mode no no <laughs> no, no so yeah it looks it looks fine i do like punch and counter punch um i'm just not sold on one it's x transbots which i've talked about it's the only one that I've dropped six inches onto a bed and had the leg fall off. So I will never buy one. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So I'm not going to do it. Um, but it looks fine. So knocking on wood for you, Bobby. Yes, no QC issues. 
Let's go on to what's You don't have to say that for every single figure now. <laughs> We've got some KOs coming out soon. We've got Masterpiece Jetfire. I really like that like Mortal Kombat looking head. That's why I picked this picture. <laughs> but yeah, I don't remember him looking like this at all. I don't know if this is something on the KO or the original one comes with it, but I think that looks really cool. I, I don't remember. I didn't change the head on this figure, so I don't remember. So, I'm surprised it's coming out so soon, but if you need it, you can go get this guy. Yeah, it's a good figure. Now, which of these are you picking up? I'm picking up the Power Glide and the Sea Spray. Okay. I, I already have the gears and the Wind Charger. <laughs> the G1. And I gotta say, it's funny how that Power Glide is mistransformed. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, we're it's great. Or his arms, are, you know, yeah. They just stood him so, up. Yeah, literally. So it's pretty cool that they're coming out with these. So, oh, man, this was like the best time of my life. No bills. <laughs> Mom told me no a lot, but you know, you could deal with that, right? Yeah. So I never had. I never had. Actually, I did have sea spray. I never had power glide. I don't have any of these in the G1, but I won't be picking these up. Um, and the last KO we have is this Fury B, which is a remold. Both of us are very disappointed in this color scheme. Sigh. Yeah, I was hoping for it in black or something. Maybe we'll get a repaint. The Pengu, Pengu Toys likes to do the repaints. Let's see. Speaking of repaints, we got these guys, which are the Skateboard Optimus Prime because it's so long and flat. Um, they did change the gun color. They must have watched their show and changed the gun color on that um, Nemesis Prime, and it looks a lot better instead the of having that bright purple glass. gun. The shadow glass. Yes, yes. I don't like the heads. I, I don't know if I've ever paid attention to the, the faces, but... It's the movie verse Prime. Um, well, they need to do the cartoon verse Prime or something. That's... Ugh. Yeah, it's, not, it's, not, it's not my favorite. Nah, no, nah, not a fan. Easy to now, easy to you, pass. Yes, very easy. Do you have these? Because these are being re-released. I do not, and I've actually seen a lot of mm -hmm. DNA re-releases. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're covering any of them, so I won't talk about it right now. You mean like this one? Uh, there's that one. I don't have that one either, but there was another one that I saw that came out. You mean the Devastator one? Yes. So that's already sold out, so I didn't I know. One. I got one. <laughs> I oh, literally, gosh. yeah, I literally got one, um, and then I looked today, and I saw that it was sold out. I was just like, yes. Uh, yeah. so I've been waiting for that because that was the only thing that was missing from that Combiner Wars Devastator. I don't know what they were thinking with Mixmaster. That looked so terrible. So I've been looking for this forever. The price was better than what people were selling it aftermarket for, so I snatched it. I don't blame you. If I had one of those, I probably would too, but I don't have any three of these figures because that Predaking did not sit well with me with those thighs being part of the legs. <laughs> so let's move on. Fright Storm is going to be coming out, which I love that name. I'm going to steal that and use it for somebody else. That's a really cool name. But this is a very cool color scheme. This is the one I wanted. I don't have a pre-order in yet. I'm still testing the waters. I want to see what you think of your Buster first. Um, I heard the posability ain't that good on it. Um, but, I mean, I do like this. I love my Buster. And... I have good posability with him. I oh, that's that's good. I heard the elbows are limited and the knees are limited. I I haven't really done a lot with the elbows, but I do have like I mean I ha basically I have a a good stance with him right now. So I love him. I was really really surprised, and I love the color. I love the jet mode. I uh, I really like the transformation was nice. I'm very happy with the figure. And this one should be coming soon as well. So I, I'm happy about both of them. I was I was really happy after getting Buster and seeing how it transformed and how it looked. It made me even more excited for this one. So let's 
let's talk about what was recently released. And if I'm not mistaken, you have a Sideswipe and Rodimus over at your house for me. I actually did get something in the mail. That's what I'm talking about. And I have one for you as well. So, yes, this will be getting opened soon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and if, if you've seen any of our shorts uh, recently, you know what I'm talking about. Um, There's still one more to be posted, so stay tuned. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, so this will be getting opened soon. I promise. And you know, the price isn't honestly too bad for this. If it, because think about it, one's thirty-five dollars, one's twenty-five dollars. There's a mini con, so it's added next uh, ten dollars for Hasbro price, so fifty-five for the both of them. It's not that bad. Yeah, I, I mean, I think we both jumped on this. Um, when I was placing my order, you were like, "Hey, don't forget about me." <laughs> oh. Exactly. So yeah, right. So, I, I, I did yeah. get this, and I'm I'll I'll be happy when I when I do get a chance to open it. Okay, yeah, I'm sure you will be. I will be happy to get this as well. You are also going to be happy to get this. Am I correct? Keep on that shattered glass train. Yes, yes. I've I had a pre-order on this for over a year now. Well, We've what's funny is it says Botcon 2022 exclusive still. Right. It, it's so first off the the kfc junkions are really really cool i i have all 12 of them that's crazy um they 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 are interchangeable with the chest and and stuff like that and, and um it's just really really cool what you can do with them so this one is definitely going to be the outlier because of the color scheme but i could see them re-releasing the other 10 because i forgot one of them is actually a, a side kill from gobot so they can really release the other 10 in this color and probably make a profit as well and so well i yeah i think they'll at least do two of them because the bot concept that this came out with had came in a set of three. Oh god so i, I see at least two more oh god i will not be picking this up um i don't like how it looks in hand I don't like all those colors. There's not enough purple. Um, and this could be too super accurate, but I don't like all the purple. I don't I like how there's red on the legs and nowhere else but the wheels. I don't like the random bits of gray on the thighs. I don't know why they wouldn't just make that purple. Um, again, it could be accurate. I don't know, but I, I don't like how this figure looks. He, he pieced himself together from a junkyard. I don't care. You're, you're like the, the one who loves all this, you know, random... Paint. I like the original ones. I just don't like this. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so I would take the money from this and buy the original BotCon ones first. Because, um... And the yellow just the, on the chest looks like a KO plastic. Don't have it in hand. I can't say if it is. It might be the lighting. It could be a lot of stuff. But from this picture, that plastic on the chest looks cheap. I do agree with you. It does look a little cheap. But again, if I if it was at if I was at Botcon, I would be picking this up. Just because I'm there, it's an exclusive. It's fun. But as far as not being there, I'm I'm not I'm not. So. Come on over. Go to Bobby. You can yep. go to Bobby. It's coming. Speaking of exclusives, we got the Dino Force. <laughs> I want this Mickey Mouse dinosaur. It's red and yellow and white and black and has Mickey Mouse ears. I, it's really cute. And you know, you know, I like Disneyland, so I kind of want it. Do um, like but it? I don't want the whole box set. So yeah, I don't really want to say anything too bad about it because I think they're good figures. They're just not for me. They're they're not for me either. <laughs> I actually don't really know what I'm looking at on the second picture. Like a dinosaur, Dino head poking and lit, yeah. yeah. With some sh with some uh, thrusters on his back or something like that. Yeah, yeah. There's also a lion and a wolf that I didn't have very good pictures with, so I didn't add them. Um, 
honestly, if I was even at the convention, I don't think I'd be picking this up. <laughs> I actually, honestly. the funny thing is, is at the convention, if we were at the convention, I think you would pick them up, and I think I'd be tempted to pick them up. Well, yeah. But I the mean, fight, maybe. The price would would determine if I got yeah, it or not. I I didn't see the price. Just they didn't. I didn't see it on here. But you know, anybody at Botcon, yeah. please let us know. Yes, please do. And lastly, I did want to add this, even though you can't purchase this. They showed off the customizing class, and it's Quick Slinger out of the Pterosaur Mole. I like it. I have no clue what it is. I think it's cool. Uh, I would. I. I would be more happy doing this than some of the ones we've done at TFCon. No shade to the people that run that customizing class, but I would rather do an original Beast Wars character than some of these movie burst ones. I'm shaking my head because I feel the exact same way. I actually <laughs> am like, huh, this would have been fun to do because I don't like the studio series. Strong arm? <laughs> yeah, like, you know, I, I was able to make Striker, which was fun, you know, and the, the bug bite, I think, I remember my wife saying, I better not be a bumblebee. If we walk in and it's a bumblebee, I'm walking out, and we walk in and it's a bumblebee, and I had to convince her to stay. <laughs> I think it's because but, you guys uh, met me there, that's what happened. Exactly, exactly, I'm glad we <laughs> stayed. But, um, yeah, I, I have your fingers crossed that at TFCon this coming one it's gonna be a g1 or beast wars or anything that's not movie related <laughs> yes please 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 but we shall see and yeah let us know if you if you participated in the the uh customizing class two at botcon i really wish i would have went yeah I, I i do too but we will go one year and one of these days we'll bring you guys live news from it Yes. Eventually. <laughs> yes. 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 So the countdown is on to TFCon. So. Yeah. So let us know if you're going to be at TFCon. Let us know if you made it to the end of this very long video. <laughs> and um, if you're interested in anything, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you. And why are you picking up that Magnus? Or are you like me and you think he looks a little too beefy? As always, like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell notification and comment and tell us your whole thoughts on this whole episode. The more the merrier, and we will see you guys very soon. As always, James summed it up this time really well. We'll see you guys next time till all debates are won. <laughs>